Have you ever thought why every alternator in the world uses DC supply for its excitation system while the alternator itself produces AC three-phase supply? Why not use the same AC voltage for excitation? Is this just an old engineering tradition or is there some hidden science behind it? In this video, we're going to break down the three types of excitation systems used in brushless alternators, and finally, we'll reveal why DC supply is always the only choice for generator excitation systems. Let's start from the basics. Excitation system is the most important part of any alternator because without excitation, no alternator can generate electricity. Its main job is to provide current to the rotor winding or field winding to create a magnetic field inside the alternator. This magnetic field is what generates electricity in the stator winding through electromagnetic induction. But the game-changing part is, the current flowing inside the rotor winding is always DC current never AC. Now let's understand the three types of excitation systems used in brushless alternators. The first type is self-excitation system. In this system, the alternator takes its own voltage from the main stator winding as a sensing supply. The AVR, automatic voltage regulator, converts this AC voltage into DC and sends it to the rotor winding through rectifiers. But this system has one big drawback it depends on residual magnetism to generate the initial voltage. If the alternator stays off for a long time or if there's zero residual magnetism, the alternator will not start generating power. The second type is PMG excitation system, which is widely used in industrial generators. A small permanent magnet generator, PMG, is mounted on the same shaft as the alternator. This PMG produces a small AC voltage independently from the main alternator, which is sent directly to the AVR. The AVR converts this AC into DC and excites the rotor winding completely independent from the alternator's main voltage. PMG systems don't need residual magnetism to start and they provide much better voltage stability during sudden load changes or short circuits. That's why PMG alternators are used in critical applications like hospitals, data centers, and industrial backup generators. The third type is a rep excitation system, a smart solution used in modern brushless alternators. Instead of a separate PMG alternator, the AREP system uses an auxiliary winding built inside the main stator itself. This winding produces a small supply voltage directly for the AVR without depending on the main output winding. The result is better voltage regulation even during sudden load variations without the need for residual magnetism. AREP systems are cheaper than PMG systems but more reliable than self-excitation systems, making them the perfect balance between performance and cost. But the biggest question still remains. Why do we always use DC supply for excitation instead of AC? The answer is hidden inside the law of electromagnetism. To generate a strong magnetic field, we need a constant magnetic flux, and only DC supply can produce constant magnetic flux. If we use AC supply in the rotor winding, the magnetic field will continuously change its polarity in every half cycle, resulting in unstable voltage and flickering power generation. Not only that, AC supply will generate eddy currents inside the rotor, which will cause overheating and damage the windings. That's why nature itself has made one universal rule in the electrical world. Magnetism only loves DC, not AC. Let's quickly summarize. Self-excitation is the cheapest system but depends on residual magnetism. PMG excitation is the most reliable system but expensive. A rep excitation is the smart balance between performance, cost, and reliability. But no matter which system you choose the supply will always be DC not AC. Without DC supply, even the most powerful alternator in the world is nothing but a piece of metal. Understanding excitation systems is not just knowledge it's the secret weapon that separates an ordinary technician from a generator master. If you want to learn more hidden technical secrets of generators then don't forget to subscribe to Power Learning and comment below. Would you like a detailed video on AVR wiring and programming next? This is Power Learning when knowledge empowers you. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Keep powering. You just learned another hidden secret of the power industry. But remember, knowledge without action is just information. If this video added value to your technical journey, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Power Learning. Your one comment can decide the next powerful topic on this channel. Let's build a community where every technician becomes a generator expert. This is Power Learning. Keep learning. Keep powering.